Okay, let's get back into some more Doom with uh, the appropriately named My First Tech Base by Funny Person with two N's. Uh, this is yet another first map uh, that's promising already to be a lot better than my own because the room works. Alright, and uh, whether you know it or not, Funny Person, you're also testing some of my new HUD code, uh, which should be one-to-one -one, uh, with what I had already, but we'll see. I'm finally going to uh, do what I've been saying I've uh, been going to do since 2020 or so, and uh, release my uh, custom HUD stuff. I've got it into a state where I'm happy with other people seeing it now. And uh, I'll put that in the description and uh, the uh, various Doom forums as well. Another thing uh, that Mr. Person uh, willingly tried for me was uh, a new submission system. I'm going to reroute all my submissions through Google Forms now because uh, what would happen before is that I would get them from everywhere. I would try to keep track of them earnestly. Uh, I wasn't very good at it and I'd lose them sometimes. So uh, I'm going to put everything through there again. That'll be in the description going forward. And back to the map. Uh, so we've, uh, this is actually a really good starting place because uh, instead of just going forwards, uh, you're suddenly in the middle of a fight and uh, you've got to watch yourself from all angles. Uh, hence, I've uh, been beaten up a bit by now. But uh, let's pick one of these angles. It looks like uh, this might be a hub and spoke map. But let's pick one of these directions to go. Whoop. Nice lighting on the uh, crates, by the way. It's uh, casting a shadow. It's nice because the, the first impression that I had of this, uh, I can jump. I'm probably not supposed to, so I'll, I'll leave that off. Um, the first impression was that I had that this room's uh, almost a perfect cube. <laughs> Uh, but I do like the consoles in the uh, walls and the uh, pillar there that gives it a bit of decoration. It stays very square here, but then here you get more into it. You're going into more angles and sticking crates around and uh, platforms in weird configurations, and that definitely makes things look a lot more interesting. Yeah, even simple things like this with the lip on the uh, on the door. Okay, should finish things off in here. I think that imp, um, there's a quirk of how uh, Doom monsters work, that um, they always take up a square space no matter, uh, no matter where they're facing. So I think what happened to that imp there was he was stuck there on top of a platform that didn't have enough room for him to move around. And moving around is vital to a monster's ability to fight back in Doom. It, it can't do that without uh, decrementing the counter and moving around. Uh, ask the Chino, he'll, he'll know. Um, but yeah, that's what happens when you put a pillar, uh, put a monster on the pillar that's too small for it, is that it just stands there and it can't attack. Oh, nice trap! Had me sprinting for the exit. Let's uh, hold this position and go through. Uh, the other thing that I should mention is that I've replaced uh, D Runnin, uh, the classic that everybody knows and to some extent loves. Uh, I've replaced that with uh, one of the musics that was submitted to Ramp, actually. It's a reworking of uh, music that I wrote in this amazing Mega Drive font. It was, uh, as far as I can tell, it was done by Bruno uh, Levi Costanziano, uh, and I apologize. Uh, you know, the, approximately that's your name. Um, oh, sorry, I shouldn't have jumped. Um, the music actually went uncredited, so I don't know if it was you or if it was someone else, but it's brilliant and I love it. I never encountered D running. I'll uh, I'll replace it with uh, some music and let you know what it is. Oh, a sound tunnel there. Someone's woken up. That's a secret. There we go. Okay. 
What I'm interested in with the door tracks there is that they moved with the wall down, but uh, you'd have to have done that deliberately. You'd have to set those flags so uh, it looked like uh, some chains lowering or something. I don't know. And I uh, can't get through there. I did. So that's going to have done something somewhere else. We'll see what it was. This looks like a super classic Doom map. It's got all the uh, weird angles, the uh, support textures separating the textures. There's some texture alignment, uh, uh, I was going to call them issues, but they're not really issues because I don't care, but uh, things like that where the walls sort of don't line up with each other, but to be fair, that's very authentically Doom 1 as well. So yeah, in contrast to the first room, um, this room had all the monsters you know, easily able to be picked off in front of you when you're standing at the door. Although when you get into it, so there's a ambush uh, spectre there, which is going along the right lines, giving the player a surprise once they think they're safe. Uh, everyone's facing the wrong way here. So I'll leave them alone. Okay, we're going on to the bigger enemies now. We've got Hell Knight. Oh, I've got the chain gun. I forgot about that. Where's he going there? Come on. Oh, I don't see him. Oh, we've got a little abandoned mine now. Going through all kinds of scenery. Don't disturb me while I'm checking the sector alignment. Oh, what was that? What's behind me? And that's a classic trap, of course, putting in the beef shields behind you when you're trying to fend off the imps and uh, yeah that's definitely encouraging you to go down into a room. Oh, a weird uh, tacky thing in the mine. That's intriguing. Oh we're starting to get rockets. I just remembered I got a weird comment a while ago uh, saying I think he said out of all the years I've played Doom, I have never felt the need to have little numbers floating above the enemies when you damage them. And, yeah, okay. How'd you react to that? Well, well don't play it with that, then. Don't know what you expected me to do about it. Um, again, I, I really like what you've done with the lighting. Just uh, these uh, sector lights that stretch back and forward. I'm totally unsure whether I should be jumping on that. I'm, 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 lean, I'm leaning towards yes at this point, but I'm going to explore and... Uh... Whoa! Okay! You bastard! I've got... they've got a shotgun as well! Oh! Didn't get in in time. That's a bad move. Uh, that's the worst one. Oh, d oh dear Christ, am I all the way back here? Hang on a minute while I get back to where I was. I'm going to keep this uh, video running. Uh, I'm not going to cut this bit out, but uh, 
If I see anything interesting that I didn't see before, I'll comment on it, but uh, you might just want to enjoy the gameplay just now or skip this entirely. Yeah. Okay, welcome back, uh, or uh, welcome, I don't know what I'm talking about. Welcome back or not, depending on whether you skip the rest of the video. Um, 
I've basically done what I did before. Uh, uh, before I uh, did, I uh, got to the archfile with his uh, rise from your grave routine. Uh, I didn't explore anything I didn't explore before, but I did discover a whole lot that I didn't. So uh, I'm going to push some switches and nudge some things now. Ah, backpack, okay. Just for doing a bit extra with the switch. I feel that um, I complained last video about uh, how I was always exploring bread first and I should commit to a direction and uh, go with it. Uh, and I feel on this map I uh, did the opposite. I didn't explore enough as I was going along. I seem to pick the way forward uh, by coincidence too much. Well, what was that? Oh, it was you lot. Right, so we're back. Oh, hello. So we're back above the uh, crate room, the dockyard, whatever you want to call it. And that's a nice way of uh, following John Romero's rules about uh, being able to approach rooms from multiple uh, multiple angles. Gives a real sense of progress. And now that I notice, oh, now that I notice it. There's quite an inviting uh, way to hop over these crates, isn't there? That's a secret. Ah ha ha ha, okay. I'm coming back for you, Archvile! Hang on a second. Alright, where else have I not gone? Not there, but I don't see a way to open it. I heard someone opening a door. Oh, what's this? Ah, that, that gets me up here, okay. Yeah, and you can see here the uh, the top of this wall isn't aligned with what's around it, because it had to, it had to open. Something I often do for walls that have to open is just put support textures either side, um, which can make it look too obvious. So yeah, maybe ignore that, nobody cares. All right, that was that teleporter. This was the room with all the enemies facing the wrong way. And this is where I went up to get to the crate area again. Okay. All right. Surprise! Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Dennis Norton. All right, that was only slightly embarrassing. Wait, oh, wait, did you hear the, my voice on that? Let me get some water. All right. <clears throat> About uh, approximately 25% of that water got down the right pipe, I would say. <coughs> right. right, let's go. Uh, we've got the Scottish blend, but uh, at what cost? At no cost. All right, it was a, it was a free sample. You can put some more uh, enemies here on the way back, uh, prevent the player from going through a dead area. You might have detected a small amount of panic in my mouse movement. You know, oddly, the dead area worked perfectly for that because I was I was then off my guard. Uh, so yeah, may, maybe maybe don't listen to me at all and don't change anything. 
That looks like some kind of secret. It's not, but why is it not showing up on the auto map? All right, um, let's go this way. I can I can hear some more enemies. I don't know if he was newly released or uh, yeah. I think I, I just missed him the first time. This is a this is a really good first map. It's uh, it's full of variety. It's got uh, distinct areas so you don't get lost. It's got the amount of challenge I would absolutely expect from a first map. Still got a hundred more enemies to go, so uh, I suppose we'll see how that works. Um, Alright, so this just gets me this uh, viewing platform, and there's the yellow key door. We will see if we can get a ring to that. Uh, nothing else up here. That is a secret. Yeah, this is something that I don't do often enough. That These tiny little um, rewards for secrets. Not every secret has to be a supercharge or a new weapon or anything. Sometimes they can be just... I think this one with just six little helmets in, in Doom 1. Uh, map uh, E1M2. Sometimes uh, finding the secrets of the reward and... Uh, you don't want to unbalance your map with uh, huge rewards that are optional. I think the rocket launcher is a huge reward that's optional. Um, it's possible I would have found it somewhere else if I hadn't found it there. But it it does change the gameplay a lot, whether or not you get that secret. Of course, for your bigger secrets, you want you absolutely want them to change the game. You want to make it exciting. You want to give the player a new area that they could never get into before and find some new secret. Maybe I should have saved that rocket. I thought I saw a chain gunner here, and I wanted to take him out first before I got distracted. But uh, either I didn't see him, or I did get distracted before I did. the double barreled shotgun when you don't have it. All oh, right, and this was a sort of uh, altar like in the, uh, what's it called, military base in the uh, E1M9. Okay then, just a little bit of outdoors and that's the exit. Still got 81 enemies to go, I'm suspicious of this. It does seem awfully like an exit, and that, that is an exit line. I've recolored the map, by the way. That's another thing I've done, so I can actually see the difference between the doors and the walls and everything. I can't believe I didn't bother to do that for ages. So the fact there are 81 enemies left uh, says that there is, there's an ample number of optional areas in this map as well. Here's one. Maybe I need to change the colour of my crosshair as well, because I lost track of it. 
I keep it so tiny though so I can take screenshots and I don't have to manually remove it. It's very possible that thanks to the uh, JPEGing of the, uh, you know what, let's not use that term actually, um, the JPEG compression of the video frames, it's very possible that you don't see it at all in the video. Alright. Again, interesting room shape, interesting uh, fight. Uh, this is, uh, you, you know what I'm going to say if, if you've ever watched the video by me before, this is a mistake uh, because I've been going around this room for a while, I've been shooting monsters, I've been doing things, I come to here and think that's a switch I've already pressed, I'm going somewhere else. Uh, but it isn't, because uh, that, that's an SW2 texture. And uh, I always say that you should use SW1 textures unless you have an incredibly good reason not to. Because it, uh, it confuses the player, it makes it look like a switch has already been pulled. Bring an elemental, there you are. No, I just thought about uh, uh, when I was going through Ramp 2022 and thinking Pain Elemental, is it called that because uh, Birth is equivalent to Pain? But uh, I think... I think I said at the time that that would make sense if this were a Silent Hill game, but probably not for Doom. And then I got onto thinking that uh, in the Bible, in Genesis, when uh, they eat the forbidden fruit, the God says that uh, I will make Birth multiple hundreds of times more painful for you, women, and for men, uh, I'll make gardening a bit more difficult. And uh, I'm still a bit bothered by the inequality of that. That's a nice use of the uh, console texture as a secret. Uh, okay, that's gone up. Where do I go? Okay, I'm good down here. How did I trigger that? Was that this? It was! Okay, yeah, that's a... That's a good position of that switch because um, you would you would go back that way and then you'd notice something was opened. And uh, oh yeah, this is an alternative way around to here. Oh, and another room. It, it, it just keeps on going. It's like, um... Sorry, I thought I'd remember what I was saying uh, by the time I got to that point in the sentence, but I didn't. What's it called? Refueling base, that's it. Um, it's like refueling base with all the different rooms and all the optional areas. Uh, just trying to find your own route through. What would be really interesting if there were a duplicate key somewhere, uh, and you could uh, go one or more ways through the level. Uh, I think this might help. Rocket sitting on. All right, down to eighteen enemies now. Aha! Oh no! You're taking me on the roller coaster here. Where's he gone? Oh yeah, and this is the, uh, this is that room, okay. And he's, uh, he's reviving enemies, I can see that counter going up, but I don't know where he is. Oh, what room had a lot of enemies in it? There! Now, did he teleport through there? Ow! Is that, is that the place I teleported up to? It, it, uh, that's the one. 
Yeah, I would say, oh, surprisingly, that's actually quite an ineffective place to put him, uh, I say, as I was damaged anyway. But uh, if he were out in the open somewhere, uh, he could cause a lot more havoc. You know, usually I'm happy just getting to the exit of these maps, but uh, you've put so much into this one. I haven't been here. Well, I like Doors Lake. And a Berserk as well, so I can wallpaper over my massive mistakes there. There they are, okay. Um, still three secrets to go as well. This is a really full-featured map. It's it's bigger than it needs to be. I'm, I'm trying to make that not sound like a negative thing. Um, because it's it's got all these uh, nooks and crannies and interesting bits, and everywhere is different, and there's a lot to explore. That's really good. And uh, there's even some... Uh, Complex routes, entirely optional uh, yellow key incident. And I, I'm sure there was another place that I I saw once and then missed. But it's very possible I was uh, I was just looking at a room that I then went into later. Yeah, this was it. Okay, so I thought there was another route over here, but it loops around. Hello, what's this? <laughs> You continue to surprise me. That's amazing. Okay, so let's get out of the mines then. And if I can remember where the real exit is... I think it was... Uh, I get the feeling it was somewhere towards the south of the map. There's great detailing on the walls. Look how complex this room is. It's just got all these uh, different lighting areas, all these different uh, ceiling heights, nukes in the walls. That's it's it's so good and so different from how first maps used to be. I've made a thing that vaguely approximates a circle, and frankly, that took me two weeks already. So that's all you're getting. All right. Well, Mr. Funny Person, uh, thank you very much for submitting your first tech base. I hope you make many more, because that was uh, really uh, a lot of fun, a lot of... Uh, it's it's really my speed for difficulty, uh, and very uh, detailed, a lot of optional areas, a lot of secrets to discover and explore, and uh, I just, I really like that. Uh, so I do hope that you uh, join the community on the forums and everything and that you continue to uh, go into this amazing new world. Thank you.